Hi my dear floss tube friends, this is Needle Ninja. Welcome! And tada! I have something new. So this video will be all about it. Let's enjoy! Yeah, I know this is not much yet, but I've been working on this project for a whole three days non-stop because I'm in kind of rush. And to explain why, I need to come out a little bit well, I don't like to talk about myself, but this is on a topic. So here I go. Uh, I used to be a professional dancer slash, slash ba ballerina, but it was like a million years ago. And tell the truth, like, I don't know, 20, 20 something kilograms. So it's like 40, 50 pounds ago. So really long time ago. But now I'm having uh, my own ballet studio. And of course, I have a very talented students and well, they graduate and I always trying to give them something, some meaningful gift and well, this will be the present for my student who, will, who she will graduate. And because of Corona and everything with it, well, we was we were stuck like two years. Uh, even we, my students had a, a scholarship. They got a scholarship or they got into some professional uh, company. Well, because of the Corona, they couldn't go anywhere. But now looks like even the Corona is still boom. But well, this girl, she, she just let me know that um, she got the contract to a professional ballet company in Tokyo. So I'm going to say bye to her on August 26th. And well, yeah, August 26th, it's like what? Like one week, two weeks later. And I have nothing for her, so I'm really rushing. That's why. Okay, I cannot show her her face, but well. This is the picture of her dancing on our last stage, which was in April. And I converted this picture to uh, using a, a free uh, site, which calls pick to pad And I converted into this pattern. This pattern, actually, I wrote it somewhere. Wait a second. It has a it has a total size it's uh, 425 times 284 so it's actually really huge but because I'm not going to use uh, our, um, all the background I'm cutting all the background out and I will just use her her pose and just her so this pattern calls for actually uh, 20 pages I'm sure you most of you are uh, you know uh, what what is a pick to pet if not I will put the link in the description below please check it if you have some beautiful pictures it's just it's free and you well you can make some something beautiful for somebody special so this is, uh, I printed all the pages and because, yeah, it has a 20 pages, but I just, I'm using like two, four, six, eight, 11 pages because the other pages there, it's a, uh, uh, what, background. So you can pick with this program you can pick how many colors you want to stitch with of course if you the first the best um, how do you say resolution it's like I think 150 or 160 colors but I pick the one because I'm in rush and I have like two two weeks so I just pick the 30 colors which gives me I think good enough good enough picture I will never make it I'm sure I will not make it after two weeks, but well, still better, 30 colors. So I'm using the 30 colors, which of course rush. 
I need to start right away and I didn't have all my colors I was missing the color the, the pattern asked for um, you know the number six number 21 which I cannot usually get in a, in the shop so I ordered and it's so perfect timing because it just came to my doors and I would love to show you how the Japanese shop from where I'm buying my flosses these are all DMC flosses how they beautifully use can you see can you actually do this it's just the one you know like a plastic bag and it's I think let's see the numbers yeah they are in order you know 621 152 it's like just I, really <laughs> I don't want to open it but I have to because there are few colors I think I, I have like three colors missing so I'm happy that I can start filling the blanks you know like I didn't this is calls for a color six I think and there are few yeah blank spaces so my next job will be to fill these blanks and I will open this beautiful back so I think that's all there is well and I want to share how I started to stitch this pattern because this is first time for me when I'm trying to ignore the background and just stitch the area around so well this is kind of obvious because the background is blue and her skin is like you know pinkish but still I yeah it's it's not as easy as I thought because well it's much more easy with sorry so pattern keeper this is my progress So yeah, at first I started to stitch uh, this arm because I wasn't sure if I was on the correct place and I of course grid my fabric and this is, sorry that I'm saying it so late, but this is uh, my usual 25 count DMC fabric white with the, uh, mm, I'm doing the 10 stitch and uh, first what I did was I count how big actually her body will be so I just grid that part I hope I didn't make a mistake if if yes I I left like I think like five inches on each side so I can make I'm allowed to make a mistake and I will still be okay but looks like she's fitting in here and what I want to say yeah okay um, I was wondering like what's the fastest way to stitch of course well we all have our opinions but because just stitching this part I pick just one color and stitch all her arm uh, with one color so I was actually doing the cross-country stitching and I really enjoyed it let me show you my back it's not so so much mess it's not so I know that now when I will go to fill those blank spaces I know the threads will be not covered but well well that's when you're in rush well doesn't matter okay once I got the arm stitched I uh, I, you know, I came to this area which I thought I could start a snake method because that's most comfortable and I think it's actually, no, it's not fastest but yeah, I wanted to just, after the cross country, I wanted to, to have some organized, you know, 
way of stitching. So I start to do a cross country in here. Uh, no, 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 snake method in here. But I realized because I'm missing a few colors, the snake method really didn't work and I didn't like how I have to, you know, uh, yeah, work around the missing threads. So I started to uh, work um, 20 by 10 and I was stitching one color in a 20 by 10 block and finish all the colors and because it's not so much colors in a one block so it was actually kind of easy and fast and yeah I was stitching like three days and yesterday my whole record my my personal record is like 1600 stitches per day but yesterday I, I never check it but yesterday I, I thought like oh my god I stitched so long and I check it and it was like 1900 something and I wanted to take a picture which I didn't but yeah I did 1900 stitches yesterday so I'm actually now um, uh, I have like 3900 stitches done so yeah almost yeah some 1000 something stitches per day so yeah wish me good luck maybe i can make it <laughs> and no i will not but i will send it to her definitely i'll try okay back to the stitching now no now after finding the After finding that the snake method didn't work well, I started to do 20 by 10, which I stitched this part, then I move here, and then I wanted to stitch her toe shoes, toe shoe, and that was again cross country, totally cross country. And then I start to stitch this 20 by 10 block, now I do this one and because I would love to see how her face will show because I think this thing is a little bit dark and there is this color on her face so but I'm not going to stop I'm not going to change anything so this is how I will do but because I'm really looking forward to see her face I'm trying to you know Go this way I think I will make some stitchy stitch with me video about it so hope we can enjoy so tell the truth this pattern is there's everything there's cross-country there is snake method there is uh, parking in a block but yeah it doesn't it doesn't yeah it doesn't bother me and I think if you're trying to avoid the whole uh, background things, this is the only way and maybe the only comfortable way for me to do that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying. So hope there is everything I wanted to tell you. Please wish me good luck. I have a holiday today and tomorrow so I'll be doing just the stitching but well we'll see and you'll know definitely you'll know I'll let you know and I'll show you so my dear frosty friends thanks for watching and I wish you mm, well I wish you all the best and happy stitchy time and happy time whatever you do it's a summer, I know we are busy with our kids being home, or grandkids, but yeah, yeah, I just love to spend the time, and if, if, and I, and I realized that this is actually when it has a, some meaning, that there is somebody actually not waiting for it, because she doesn't know I'm going to give her, but if I really like, it's not just stitching for me or for my walls if I think and if I imagine how she will feel when I will give it to her and maybe she will think like where to put it on and I'm sure she will love it so 
yeah that's what makes me even like you know 2000 stitches doesn't matter so I'm going for 2000 today too <laughs> okay <laughs> what else uh, I think I'm oh oh okay maybe I will put some it if yeah if it will work I will put some pictures in here the pictures the the project I used to stitch for my students but it was totally different era so it was like 15 years ago or 10 years ago and uh, I was stitching not the cross stitch like like or half stitch like this one but I was using the also I was using the half stitch but I was using like four flosses it was like I was so uh, you know I know much better now so I was still learning so it's not actually that nice but yeah that was given from my heart and I spent a wonderful time with it and everybody just loved it so I will try to put those pictures here okay my dear friends see you soon with the stitch with me on this one and I'm going for I have like 1000 stitches already today so I'm going for another thousand maybe I will record it so have a beautiful summer and see you soon <laughs>